We're in tech here where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable version of Chrome version 123, which they pushed out late yesterday in my region on the 13th of March. And as you may well know by now, Google pushes out the early stable a week before they actually roll out the official release. And we are expecting the official release of version 123 to roll out next week because Google pushed out the early stable yesterday in my region on the 13th. So next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we should see version 123 make its way to the general public. Now, like most, including myself, um, we don't get the early stable. It only rolls out to a limited subset of users for testing before it rolls out to the general public. But when it rolls out, it will be bumped up to version 123.0.6132.46. And just a quick video just to show you more or less what we can possibly expect to see um, rolled out. And obviously, this list is subject to change. Now, first of all, with every major version, Google will push out security updates and fixes. Too early to say at this stage what those fixes will be, but we can expect security fixes. And I think they're going to continue the gradual rollout of AI-related features with version 123, which they started rolling out in version 122 with a feature called Help Me Write, which is a writing assistant. Now, I haven't received any um, AI-related features in my stable version yet of Google Chrome because these features are on a controlled rollout. But if we head over to Chrome Canary and we head to our settings, as you may well know by now, um, they are pushing out experimental AI features, which gets its own page in the settings. And one of those is create themes with AI. And if you want more info on that, just do a search on the channel. I've posted quite a bit of content on that. And then the Help Me Write will also be featured on this page which is rolling out using a controlled rollout and is a writing assistant, as mentioned. But I'm sure we're going to start see, seeing more traces of um, AI-related features rolling out in version 123 next week. Then moving on to another feature, and basically this is called Resume Tabs. And we can see this, you may have noticed this, but and I've posted on this um, previously, in Chrome Canary 124, we get this tabs from other devices, which makes it easier for you to pick up where you left off. And this should be rolling out with version 123. So what it does is it can show your recent tabs from other devices on the new tab page, as you can see. And apparently this will work on desktop, Android and iOS. And the good news is you'll, you will be able to turn this feature off. So you can just, um, uh, you can just click on that um, little three dotted menu, customize, and there we go. You can turn off the customized cards from and showing cards um, from the side panel. So at least there will be an option for that, which I'm always grateful for if you don't want to see this um, tabs from other devices on your new tab page. So that's another feature we could expect to see roll out. Then something else I've been posting on um, is the new uh, global media controls that uh, Google has already rolled out in Chrome OS. And this is just a screen grab and a pause i just paused the video basically at a previous video i posted um when this was a feature in chrome canary now i can't show you this in real time in chrome canary because there's a bug and it's not working but yeah you can see chrome os's new material u global media controls and um, these apparently will also match the chrome theme we get apparently if you are using cost you'll get updated cost button uh, we've got the more kind of fluent material you redesign. It looks a little bit more minimal, which I quite like, actually. It's got this little squiggle kind of sound wave progress bar. You can cue the pro the progress bar and so on. So we could see um, that starting to roll, roll out. If not by default, then I'm sure that will start rolling out using a controlled rollout. And then just the last one to mention for the purpose of today's video, I'm just going to mention this. Um, we could see tab group sharing coming to Chrome version 123. And this is, be this is because some new flags have been spotted that indicate that you may soon be able to share your entire tab groups rather than just links. So if you are using a lot of tab groups, then that may be a nice move in the right direction. So as mentioned, that's just really what's happening in the beta channel, which is the release just before the stable. And... As mentioned, the early stable has been rolled out of version 123. So that's more or less what we can expect to see um, rolling out next week with the official release 
to the general public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.